What up, what up? This is Ruben from nyynews.com. Coming in with you guys um, after a little bit of a hiatus from my side. So basically, I really think um, with everything that's gone on, it's kind of um, interesting to see that it's taken Cashman this long to uh, find a trade for a Hicks or for Donaldson. And we still have them on the roster. And let's not also forget that we can also trade IKF. So, looking at big picture, this offseason has been a pretty good offseason in terms of um, how Steinbrenner becoming a straight up uh, King of New York type of thing, where he ends up signing a Carlos Rodon as an like one of the best moves he could have made. Um, I, I, I take it back to like, you know, the, the, this kind of move of signing Rodone could have been um, a, a signing Cliff Lee to a CC Sabathia, like having that co-ace um, that also has the potential to be better than the original ace. You know, like Cliff Lee was better than CC at that time. Um, uh, Rodone has pitched... Um, better than Cole the last two years but um obviously Cole has the the better um quantitative total stats in terms of just like games played and everything but uh Rodon seems to have finally figured it out on how to stay healthy hopefully um now I also do like you know we got Aaron Judge back but what what really what is going to make um Hal Steinbrenner, the king of New York, is to um, make sure that he puts the pressure on Cashman to find these trades to remove a Donaldson, remove a Aaron Hicks, remove a um, IKF, um, or even a Gleyber Torres, depending on the deal. Because we really, truly need, at this moment, another big bat, maybe two. Uh, we need more left-handed bats, but we, um, but it, the bat that I'm talking about is not necessarily a left-handed bat, but it's a premium right-handed bat. And what I mean by that is, you know, we all know that the Angels were rumored to be sold. And a deal fell through at some point. They were looking for offers. They have a whole bunch of lawsuits. That's no longer happening, uh, apparently, to Artie Moreno. Now, with Arte Moreno, the problem is that he, I don't think he's going to necessarily um, try to keep um, Otani and Trout. Um, at some point, he's going to want to start moving salaries, in my opinion. Um, it only makes sense. Like, okay, Otani, he has to be shown that they're, they're going to win. He wasn't happy at the end of the season. Trout is locked in, so he he can't really request a trade per se because he doesn't want the the backlash, and he's locked in. But if our, our, our um, Arte Moreno wants to cut salary, one way is to trade Mike Trout. If Hal Steinbrenner wants to uh, get this team back on track to winning championships, we need to make sure that the player that we get is Mike Trout. And not just Mike Trout, but also get another bat that can balance out the lineup. So we obviously have like a DJ LeMahieu right now that's right-handed playing third base. Third base could be a spot that we could potentially upgrade to maybe a left-handed bat. Could that be Cabrera? Cabrera right now is a switch hitter. He can play third base. Is that the way that we should go? Does that mean that we trade Glaber? Like, there's a few moves that we could do. We could have a Glaber at second base with a Cabrera at third with a Trout in left field. That's one option. Another option is that we have LeMayhew at second base with a Cabrera at third base and a um, Mike Trout in left field. Like, that's the kind of thing that we need to get done. Or do we finally get a Brian Reynolds? Those are the two bats that we need to go for. Either Brian Reynolds or a Mike Trout. Brian Reynolds already fits in terms of the age. 
He's younger, a little bit more durable. Um, he he plays a good left field. Um, so he he initially played it when he came up a, a few a, quite a bit. So he he rates well in left field already, um, even though he's primarily a center fielder right now. But definitely, um, I believe that we need to get a premium bat. If we want to get the most premium bat, it's Mike Trout. But if not, then we need to go and get a Brian Reynolds. But then that also means that it, 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 we still need another bat. Like, we still need another bat that can balance out the lineup. And we still need a premium bat. So, um, at this point, Mike Trout, Brian Reynolds need to be the bats that we get. At this moment, there's no other bats available in the market that can truly make this lineup the offensive juggernaut that we need it to be. We can, uh, and the reason why I'm not, like, I'm not taking into account what we have already is because we have too many what ifs. Like Aaron Judge is Aaron Judge, we get that. Anthony Rizzo, we already saw what he's he's given us as a Yankee, but we can't necessarily expect that he's gonna all of a sudden revert back to 2019, 2018 Rizzo. Where he was back to hitting 270, 280, 290. And then he, and with the home runs, with the on base. We don't know if Rizzo is able to do that even with the shift being eliminated. That is not guaranteed. So right now he's basically a 240 hitter in his lifetime as a Yankee. So we need him to bounce back on the average because the power is there. But we need more situational hitting from Rizzo. He hasn't done that as much. He has some nice clutch moments, but he hasn't done that as much as we expected him to do. And that's the problem we have right now with the lineup. Look at Giancarlo Stanton. He had a really good 2021. He was healthy for the majority of, of, of the season, played 139 games, I think it was, or 140. Now, can he go back to doing that? We don't know. He keeps getting injured. Last year, he wasn't healthy after like the half like a, a month and a half that he played because he had really good stats starting April and May. But then once like that, that half a season in, in, in May came in, he started striking out at a higher clip, started making less uh, contact. Um, his average plummeted. I don't even understand how he made the, the all-star game. The guy like literally was hitting 225 when he got into the all-star. So that makes no sense to me at all. So, we need Stanton to uh, get back on track, and we need Stanton to stay healthy. But that's another if. You know what I mean? Um, we do have a Glaber Torres who has shown to be a decent bat. If you take out um, the horrible stats he put up uh, during his time with, um, like, in, in that slump that he had, and I think it was August um, after the trade rumors. If you take out that, his U was actually pretty good. Can he improve on that? But again, another what if. It's not like we have certain guys who are like, we know this is what we're going to get from them. We don't really have that. Um, and in that aspect, like, we need that. Same thing with, with Harrison Bader. He's never shown that he can be a consistent bat in the majors. He's had glimpses. He's had stretches. But he hasn't done it for a full season. He's never, he hasn't played really 150 games, you know, like he looks like he unlocked something in the postseason with the Yankees, but can he do that now on a contract year for a full 162? How many of that 162 are we going to get out of him? We don't have that right now. So that's center field, that's first base, second base, third base. You have Donaldson, you have LeMayhew. They also have their questions. So, like, it just seems that we don't have those guys who are we're like, okay, we know this guy is always posting, and he always hits around here. Like, it, it, it doesn't, we don't have that. We don't have the, the Manny Machados, the Robinson Canoes from back in the day, um, the A-Rods, the Jeters, where we knew every single year they pretty much played 150 games, and every single year they were hitting anywhere from 280 to 310. Or 290 to 320, depending on which player we're talking about. We don't have that. It's only 
right now, the only consistent offensive players that can really truly give you that is Aaron Judge right now. Everyone else in the lineup is a question mark. And that is the problem that we have. So if Hal wants to be the king of New York, the way to do that is to go and get that premium back. Get a Mike Trout. Or go and get a um, Brian Reynolds. But those two, at some point, the Yankees need to move aggressively to get one of those two players. And if not, you need to find another bat that no one was expecting, but that is a big impact bat. That you know that there's consistency and you're not hoping for a, a, um, a, a career year. You're not hoping that they are performing completely into another level they've never done before. We need something that's a sure thing. Because if we're going to, once again, get this championship trophy, number 28 for the New York Yankees, we need another bat that we know what to count for. So that's my take. There's a chance that how can be the king of New York and show up Steve Cohen and show up anybody and basically say, we're the Yankees, we're going to win 28 this year. And it's because we get some more sure things on the, in the lineup. Bonafide, consistent players in the lineup. We need consistency. We don't have that. And that is a problem with this offense. It's very up and down. We don't know where we're getting from certain players. And it's too many of them. The only sure thing in this lineup is Aaron Judge. Pretty much. So what are we going to get from everyone else? I would like to hear your thoughts, guys. Comment down in the section below. This is Ruben from nyynews.com. Like, share, subscribe, comment. I want to know your thoughts. Peace.